hello and welcome to my van onyx is back here tree on a bone so if you hear any weird noises that's probably why i have not done a van video in a very long time part of that is because i did a really amazing van video like probably like my best work on these curtains all my curtains in my van and um my iPhone did that whole self-destruct iPhone thing and I had to delete all of my stuff in order to download other stuff and I thought that my video was going to be safe in the app I was editing it in but it was using my phone's data and save storage space for that so I got a little bit discouraged but um, that doesn't mean that my van progress has stopped I've done a couple of different things um, but yeah, so this is what it looks like right now. I'm gonna be a little closer. Welcome in. Um, seeing how the current video has not resurfaced or gotten fixed or gotten reshot, I'm just gonna do it right now. So on these back curtains, it's a little bit bent because we use gang all the time, but I just have these cute little things in here and it just, plops right on this is probably one of the easiest honestly curtains in general are easy but these are probably the easiest curtains that i did they were the first curtains that i did um and they are not meant to be um like safety curtains or super um like privacy curtains at all these are for when i'm hanging out outside it's nice out and i want to have the doors open but not be completely open and just have like the flow of the wind in my curtains um in which I would untie these knots right now these knots just hook right in these cute little cubbies though on the side so that I don't yank on them because this little thing up here where is it? this is not strong so I just did it that way um these curtains right here are going to be replaced soon um they are a hot mess these things right here break really easily and so I'll be unscrewing all of that and ripping these off and putting in curtains soon so I still have these curtains to do and then I still have this side curtain to do but let's go ahead and go on inside all right so these right here are my interior side curtains and what I ended up doing for these is using like a panel sort of method this one is good you can kind of see um what i did on there you can see the little loop right there <laughs> doing this backwards thing um what i did on these was i took two shower curtains that i had that i needed to like repurpose and i put um, an insulation blocker in there um which is making it virtually um you can't see through it making it basically able to be so you can't see through it my goodness okay um and I just did really simple it's just like a big panel like folded inside out so around the outside just one big panel sorry there's some weird person just stopping in front of my house anyway okay so I'm gonna turn around in this next video and show you how I made these and how they are hung so that you can see what exactly this is my big panel I got going on here on each of these panels they have these little grommets and basically I just took a grommet puncher and punched each one of these um, and I used multiple across the top and then multiple down the side so like for this one right here it folds up so that you can attach it at the top I'll show you that in a minute and I just use these little screw in hooks to situate these. Up here, I use a screw just because I had one laying around, it was easier. And I also like to hang up my towels with these grommets too. So I'm kind of addicted to these things right now, however good or bad that is, but whatever. I will be adding a different fabric to this to make it even darker and to make it more privacy, more privacy going on. Um, but as of right now, this is what we're working with on a stay. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and fold these up and show you what they look like when they're folded up. 
wow okay so this is what it looks like when it's half up i strongly recommend making the panels if you're going to do it this way and get making sure they're all sewn up and putting your grommets in when you get into your van i made the mistake of doing it not in my van and this little hook right here this grommet here does not fit in the same spot as it does on the top so just something to keep in mind um i can always just use like a clip i have these small clips i have curtain clips and then i have like bigger heavy duty clips um that i use for different stuff like that but i also have these little half things right here so i can put these all the way up like this and still have them in place so i don't have to store them anywhere whenever i'm not using them or whenever they're open so that i really like about it what are you stuck is that what you're fussing me about just a second oh my goodness i just saw my stain i needed that okay why are you stuck there you go okay so that's what's going on with these curtains um i will be adding to these to add even more privacy to the van as time goes on once i can get um sewing and get working on those ionics um but then we'll get doing on that so i'm gonna show you my third set of curtains next and then i'll show you all the ones that i still need to get to okay so these are my third set of curtains I really love these. These made such a huge difference in my like life in the van because it just gives you so much more privacy and you can just kind of like disappear from the world a little bit, which is really nice when we're sleeping. Um, it just really makes it like a real home back here whenever we're traveling. So we really love it. Hold on. Okay, so this is the little brackets that we have that hold the big rod for my curtains we took these out of david's van and put them in mine thank you hopefully we'll find another heavy duty one like this soon from a different van we pull them out at the yard and then i just put in these classic curtains that are like blackout curtains that i had left over from previous lives and so they completely close like so so whenever we're sleeping back here it's completely blacked out and we have complete privacy or on this these curtains i still do need to replace they will be getting done the same thing as the others there's little screws at the bottom and then you just rip out the top um but they need to get done too these are not actually as see-through as you might think you can't really see it in from the other side but it's just a comfort thing and like it'll make the whole van more cohesive so we'll begin to those soon to so this wall all right so that is basically just a little van update the floor right now is prepped it's prepped for um putting like the frame pieces in and doing um the insulation and everything like that this board is just here for storage basically right now and also i'm about to be winterizing the van because we are going to be staying in it this weekend over christmas and so um i'm basically my task of the day is to fill up any of the holes from the pieces that we've taken out because they still have holes in there and i haven't put bolts in them yet so i'm going to do that and then i'm going to put a comforter underneath here and then have the wood and then put the bed back in on top just to kind of give us a little bit extra coziness and warmth um while we are gone this weekend it really isn't cold in there granted it's winter you know it's christmas it's not expected to be super cold it's not like the coldest winter i've ever lived in so it's really not that bad in my opinion and once we get it warm the heat really pretty much stays in although um once I do get in those side curtains, it'll be a lot more insulated too. So that's a good deal there. But yeah, this is my van. Um, please leave a comment and let me know if I miss anything or if there's something that you've seen me work on that I haven't shown you guys that you really want to see. I'm very spastic brain about this. I need to be less hard on myself about these videos because y'all just want to see my van. You don't really care how, how I am. So. Peace.